Hey, y'all, I have to come live. Hold on. He really think uh, that she can come on here and say what she got to say. It's been a few bitches that make me want to pull the fuck up. I wasn't doing a live today. I have been maxing and relaxing, and I hope nobody else was on, you guys. I just jumped on because I heard what Crip Face Chrissy said, and I want to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to address Big Fat Funky at CC, and shout out to Glam for giving us an update on walking on his motherfucking ankles, uh, Robert. Uh, thank you for enlightening us what happened in court yesterday. It's always a good time. We will resume the conversation October 21st. We're going to start back talking about Robert when he go to his next court appointment. Uh-huh. October. What did you say, Glam? October 21st. Yeah, we'll talk about it because it's definitely a hot motherfucking topic. I, I You know, I want to see what's going to happen to the bastard. You know, that's it. Hold on. Hey, Tony. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all, I'm not going to spend a lot of time saying hello. Hello to all my squad. Hey, Lawanda. Hey, Tony. Hey, Jersey girl. Hey, everybody. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. I've been relaxing pretty much all day. Um, I did make it to a grocery store um, earlier today, um, but pretty much just been relaxing. And I've just been getting triggered because these bitches like to come on here and say shit. First of all, Barnyard Betty, let me start with you. You scary ass, tucking your tail ass bitch. So we know that Barnyard Betty is going to be a part of Diamond, Ballmouth Diamond Sons, uh, Remembrance Celebration, the church event that's not hers. Uh, you know, she's gathering money uh, to be able to get to Atlanta on April 20th uh, to do an event that Diamond M already had put together. And this is how she know about the television, the news media. This is how she has all this information, right? So now the bitch want to act like she's offended because Feast, which I understand Feast. I don't think Barnyard Betty can come in close proximity to me. And I know that I would probably plot on that bitch, right? Like she said enough hurtful, hateful shit to make me want to do something to her. Crip face Chrissy too. Like Crip face Chrissy makes me want to do something to her as well. I'm being honest, you guys. Like these people say, leave it on YouTube. But when a motherfucker that you know is a coward, like Barnyard Betty is talking so much shit and she come in close proximity where you could touch that bitch, then your first instance is to touch that bitch. Now I want everybody to be safe. I won't feast them to be safe, but I totally understand what feast post was about because if Barnyard Betty came this way, I probably would, if I didn't touch her myself and I knew that I can get to Barnyard Betty, I would have somebody do something to her. If she ever was to come to California and I had a Pacific location, I'm just being honest. I'll never come here in a minute. But I'm telling you, I will want to see something happen to that bitch, right? But anyway, so like I say, I don't want to see nobody do nothing bad, but I totally understand where you're coming from, Fees. Fuck you, Crip Face Chrissy. You bitches talk all that shit, and then y'all tuck y'all tail, and I don't give a fuck how many times my son startled me walking through my front motherfucking door. Run up on me and see if you startle me, bitch. See, that's the thing. Crip Face Chrissy, let's see if I jump, if I was to bump heads with your motherfucking raggly ass, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Don't talk about what I do when Joel comes through the door. Let's talk about what I'll do if I ever seen you bitch you say your sisters you got a couple sisters with it so the fuck do i bitch so the fuck do i but i'm not coming to motherfucking atlanta uh thank you sonia thank you for the 20 dollars super sticker so this is why i try to ignore your motherfucking ass because it's so listen y'all the worst thing is have a scary bitch fucking with you and you know in real life that that bitch wouldn't bust a grape in a motherfucking fruit fight that's some frustrating shit but anyway
So Barnyard Betty, let me tell y'all something, what I'm thinking, right? Now, we all know Barnyard Betty spent the bulk of the money. This bitch been collecting money for over 30 days for an event that's already been funded by a church on behalf of Diamond Sun. Ain't got nothing to do with this bitch, but it was a way for her to get some money in her pocket to have an income because we know this hoe has been stripped of her income. So this bitch been popping con on her supporters ever since. So now, let me tell y'all how sick and tired these people ever heard. Now, I don't put Barnyard Betty on my community post. You guys have never seen me tag this bitch because that filthy bitch will never make it on my beautiful wall, right? She'll never uh, come over here and dirty up my page, right? So I don't tag this bitch, but I witnessed just how the support is dwindling away. This bitch did a silent cash app party and she wasn't talking about me. <laughs> I wasn't the motherfucking topic. That bitch had less than 150 people in her motherfucking chat. She may have had 150 people. You know why? Because people they're sick of her. They're sick of the begging. They're, they are. They understand that this event that she's been talking about has already been funded by Diamond and her family and whoever is doing it in honor of her son. Barnyard Betty took that event, tried to create it to be her own. Right. If I'm not if I'm not wrong, you guys, I could be wrong, but this is what I'm thinking. She she's been pocketing all this money from her supporters. People are tired. She didn't spend the bulk of it. The bulk of it is gone. Barnyard Betty could not show you guys a good $5,000 today. Today, today, today. She cannot show you guys that. She cannot show you guys receipts where she has spent $5,000 in cash. I bet you she can't. Now, this is me betting. I don't talk to her. I don't know her, but because I know that she's a thief, a con artist, and a scammer, I can almost bet my last dollar that this bitch don't have that money any longer, and the support has dwindled down to almost nothing because those people are waking up, and they're realizing that they have been taken for granted from the beginning, right, you guys? So this is what we're all finding out. Uh, let me see, Roz, uh, I believe... Uh, you because I heard someone say it exactly, Jackie Thomas, and we're all gonna watch it. It's gonna be an event for Diamond Sun. She's inserted herself into that. Most of the money that she has collected, this bitch, Barnyard Betty, been collecting money for over 30 days, you guys. For over 30 days. So, regardless to if somebody reported her PayPal, this bitch has tried to contact housing because she thought that it would hurt me. She has tried to contact the people that I rent from because she thought that it would hurt me. Talk about reporting and bitches is jealous and haters. Bitch, you, Barnyard Betty is the biggest hater. This bitch tried to affect my personal livelihood on multiple occasions put letters in my community accusing my son of being a uh an aliver um what else this bitch called the water company to mess with my um utilities in my house call my daughter's school call my daughter's job uh call listen this bitch has called so many people to try to fuck with me and then she say somebody is jealous and a hater barnyard betty we're returning the same energy that you gave to everybody else see you started the reporting you started fucking with people you contacted my children's father you contacted my ex boyfriend bitch you started this shit all because i told you to get your raggly black ball headed ball mouth ass the fuck away from me you started this shit so now you want to act like people hating on you no bitch people returning the motherfucking same energy that you brought to motherfucking social media see barnyard betty we was over here doing our thugs easy before yo nasty crooked mouth ass came along but when you came along bitch you made it worse you came and you dirtied up the whole motherfucking sector bitch and i try hard to keep your nasty black uh monkified looking ass the fuck away from my page right but anyway, so I just wanted to remind the bitch when she get on here and say, oh, people are haters, people reporting my PayPal, bitch, you should have enough money. Because first of all, the PayPal had 
barely $500 over there. But it don't have nothing over there today because inquiring minds, I went and looked. So the PayPal is empty at this point. I don't know if PayPal did it, if she took the money out of it, but the bulk of your money has supposed to came from cash app can you show these people <laughs> she can't and i know she won't she can't show you guys five thousand dollars worth of receipts but i'm sure she's collected a lot of money but i'm sure she's been living off that shit i'm sure that's how she paid for that cruise this bitch don't work <laughs> this bitch don't have zero income this hoe is a welfare food stamp medicaid uh recipient no job how the fuck are you paying for cruises? See, when my girls went to Bali, they both had jobs. They both had income that allowed them to do so. This bitch ain't never had a job. So you mean to tell me that y'all can't put two and two together to equal motherfucking four? She used that money. So what's she finna come up with now? Let me tell y'all. She's finna act like because PayPal was reported or interrupted or, you know, taken away that it fucked with the amount of money that she has to spend. Here comes the drama because the money been gone. But this is why she want to let everybody think, oh, they messed this up for Rita. They did this to Barnyard Betty. They reported her. That bitch should have well enough money, regardless to what somebody did today or yesterday. That bitch, remember, because I know it's some train riders over here. That bitch been collecting money for over 30 days. So, you know, let the drama begin, right? That bitch just spent that money. Uh, let me see. I know top officials and the Atlanta. Oh, hold on, baby. Uh, Sonia say, I know top officials and Atlanta. Let me know uh, where this event is going to be hosted at. Okay, Sonia, can you put it in the sister circle? Everything in the sister circle. Listen, y'all, we got all the tea over there. And Janisha, I was able to find you, boo. So you are definitely in the sister circle. And we got Robert Court information in the sister circle. If you want to know the tea, then you got to be a part of the sister circle because we are popping over there, right? Uh, hit the like button, guys. It's free. Thank you. Hey, Ozella. Uh, that's thank. Um, home uh, made the YouTube streets foul. Yes, she did, AR girl. Yes, she did. She made it really nasty. This is why I don't mention a bitch on my page. Hey, Cassie, baby. Hey, Roz and chat. Um, hey, um, let me see. Are the people in her uh, chat new or are they acting like they don't remember who started doing uh, what first? Cassie, baby. This bitch came on her live and acted as if the reporting game just started today with her PayPal. Bitch, you are the originator of reports. You are the originators of harassment. Bitch, like I said, it's just reciprocating the motherfucking energy. This hoe know what time it is, but she got to have some drag, y'all, because she ain't going to be able to have a big event like she wanted. She thought that she could recoup the money within these last few weeks. Because the majority of that money was been already gone. It's at the casino. It's at the dope man. It's on frozen burritos for peg teeth motherfucking caveman. That money been spent. You gonna give a broke hoe a couple of dollars and think that she ain't gonna go to the store and spend a couple of dollars when her and her fat ass uh, children are hungry? That's a motherfucking lie. That bitch been digging all in that motherfucking money and now she needs somebody to look at and blame because she's a motherfucking liar and this is what scammers do, right? And then she got the nerve to say, somebody want to come do, bitch. It's a lot of people, Barnyard Betty. Let me tell you, bitch. It's a lot of people that want to do something to you, bitch, to the point where people want to see you not even breathe again, bitch. Are you surprised, though? Are you surprised that people want to hurt you, bitch? People that you don't even know, bitch. That you don't even know. People want to see something happen to you, ho. You, your kids, anybody, bitch. You have said things that arise to the occasion that will get you fucked up, bitch. Don't be surprised that fee made that motherfucking post. Don't be, don't act like you're you're surprised. Bitch, you know it's a little bit of everybody in motherfucking Atlanta. And I know you think you got that big bitch <laughs> over there to protect you, but she ain't motherfucking made of steel, bitch. Anybody of flesh and blood can be touched, bitch. Just always know that, ho. Uh, let me see. I know you was watching um her video like, bitch, uh, you called my ex, return to sender. Uh, she's been doing dirt, so no good is going to come her way. Cassie, baby, let me pin you. 
I'm like, bitch, did you forget? Did you forget you thought I was on housing? You wanted me and my kids to be homeless? All because you live in a barn. All because Big CC exposed the fact that you live in a motherfucking barn. I couldn't believe it when they showed the pictures of this barn where she takes up residency. I couldn't believe it. But because that's her circumstance and my beautiful home and my beautiful life is my circumstance, this bitch thought that I was on housing and she was going to report me so that they could take something away from me because she, you know, she didn't want to see me with it. But this the same bitch. Now they taking shit away from her. This bitch then lost her money on YouTube. This bitch got problems with the PayPal because it's a scam. And people have a right uh, to, you know, to report things that they think is suspicious. <laughs> you know, they have a right to report it. So they're doing their due diligence and this hoe act like somebody hating. No, bitch, we're just doing the same thing that you do, hoe. And I didn't do it, but bitch, if you want me to be responsible for it, I motherfucking will, bitch. And what the fuck you gonna do, hoe? Are you gonna come to California and do something because uh, your PayPal got snatched? You punk ass bitch, you ain't gonna do shit. So does it really motherfucking matter, bitch? You a punk bitch. See, you talk shit from a distance, ho. You ain't gonna ever say nothing to nobody motherfucking face. So what you gonna do? I didn't call them because I don't give a fuck, but I'm thankful and I'm happy for whoever the fuck called. I'm thankful and I'm happy whoever the fuck is plotting on coming to see you in Atlanta. I'm gonna be tuned the fuck in, bitch. I hope somebody take your head off your motherfucking shoulders, BYB. I'm going to be waiting. I hope that God allowed me to see that. And, you know, I know it's messed up to ask God to give me that. But, bitch, you have done some violations for people, right? Um, I'm with you when you're right, Ross. Thank you, baby. Let me go up, BYB. Another epic fail. Another one. Another one bites the dust. This bitch is so, listen, I could read her like an open motherfucking book. The bulk of the money is gone. It's gone, y'all. It's gone. It's G-O-N-E, gone. She been spent it. She's a crackhead. She's a Campbell Holly. The money been gone. She's trying to recoup. She's trying to recoup, and she's going to let that PayPal be the reason why she don't come up with all the shit that she wanted to come up with, right? But we just going to watch, and we're going to motherfucking see because this hoe is a liar. Uh, let me see in the same zone, say facts, Ross. And y'all know I got some other stuff to bring y'all, but let me say this. Now, somebody wrote me, hey, Janisha, you welcome, beautiful. Janisha said, I've been here. Let me in that goddamn circle. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I hope that you enjoy being a part of the Ross Foster Circle because we is straight popping. If you want the real tea, oh, it's in the circle. If you want to see Robert uh, motherfucking court papers, it's thanks to Glam. Thank you, Glam. Glam got all the hot motherfucking pipe and tea. Thank you, Glam, for updating us on that court case because Big CC didn't think we was going to get that information. Bitch, please. We got that motherfucking information. Hold on. Uh, thank you, Miss Bridget Omar, for my $49.99 super sticker. Thank you, baby, for that big old blessing. Uh, let me see. Hey, Denise. Hey, Miss Ross and squad in chat. I'm late, but I hit the like button. Thank you, baby. Thank you for hitting that like button. Uh, we don't believe you, BYB. Don't believe shit that bitch got the same. And I listen, y'all, it's so irrelevant relevant to me. I don't give so much of a fuck about this. So I was actually in my bed and Crip Face Chrissy came on here and I said, bitch, let me pull the fuck up, you punk ass. So I got to go live. I've been enjoying Glam. Uh, I've seen Lucinda live. I've seen in the safe zone was live when I woke up this morning. I've caught bits and pieces of everybody live and I've been enjoying being, you know, being entertained by them. I wasn't coming live today because it wasn't a need, right? We got the update on Robert Court case yesterday and pretty much me and my sisters, we try to cover everything that's out there, right? It's a bitch that I will never mention and I know Brittany and Glam will tax that whole ass, but I will never give the bitch the satisfaction to give that hoe any attention because she's just that motherfucking irrelevant to me, right? But this is what I was going to say. Now, somebody wrote me yesterday and said that Justice was saying uh, Rosalind Knight, the Morphodite, the, the butch bitch don't like me and will never like me. I don't give a fuck, bitch. The Justice, butch bitch, the feeling is motherfucking mutual. I don't give a fuck if you like me or not, Morphodite. I never know what it feel like to carry life, bitch. I 
shocked at it. And I motherfucking mean it. The way you brought up my son, I talked about your motherfucking mammy, bitch. And I don't regret not a motherfucking thing I said. Now, I'm glad you got your butch man looking ass on. But I don't give a fuck about you disliking me. And quit saying my motherfucking name. Like I say, you a bias. You bias butch bitch. Even listen, listen, you will never agree with what I got to say because it's me, bitch. And I know that. And I'm not looking for your man looking ass to ever agree with me. I don't need you to motherfucking agree with me, bitch. It's 563 people in this audience. It ain't because of you, bitch. I don't need a motherfucking thing from your saggy pants, big nasty wish you had a dick. Type of, I don't need nothing from you, bitch. Not a like, not an agreement, not a care, not a concern, not a mention. I don't need nothing from your motherfucking nasty ass. So, bitch, I don't give a fuck about you not liking me. You made that announcement for what? Because you want to use my name and get more than 40-something people in your motherfucking audience? It sucks to be you worthless, bitches. And that's what I be saying, y'all. These bitches can't get over 50 people. I've been catching a lot of shade today, right? Because I saw Angel Mom's live And I don't have any back and forth with her She don't say shit to me I don't say nothing to her Angel Mom thought that I was going to help promote her page Or grow her page Or whatever the case going to be But I'm not I wasn't That that wasn't my claim to fame Um, It wasn't something that I signed up for I didn't make that type of promise To no motherfucking body But when Angel Mom Y'all remember when Barnyard Betty put out the rumor That my nails were dirty that I had something in my nails that was nasty that, you know, looked at me as if I'm a dirty woman or something. And it wasn't true. But any woman that wear acrylic nails, we know it's all type of shit that we touch that will get stuck up under my, our nails. And we have to clean our nails a lot. But it's all a part of the game. When you wear acrylic nails, you got to know how to maintain them. I've been, acry been wearing acrylic nails for years. This set of nails I got on my hand right now, I've had on my hand and been getting feels for over six seven months you guys same set of nails so i have to clean them they get they get you know they change colors but when angel mom said oh it's nothing up under my nails i'm like oh so you trying to project you trying to say that you believe that my nails were nasty like why are you indirectly bringing me up we ain't got to go back and forth because when you fuck with me indirectly i'm gonna dog walk your ass directly so if you don't want no motherfucking smoke then don't do that shade shit. Don't do that. Uh, what do you call it? Don't do that slick shit. Because I'm the type of woman, I'm a direct bitch. See, I don't have to creep around like I don't want no problems. Bitch, if you fuck with me, I'm going to dog walk and cuss your ass out directly. So Angel Mom, fuck you. Ain't nothing in my motherfucking nails, bitch. And your nails looked at dingy. Because after a while, all acrylic nails motherfucking do. So if you don't want no motherfucking smoke, bitch, don't come fucking with me. I don't owe your motherfucking ass shit. And you another bitch that can't get over 40 people in your motherfucking chat. It ain't got a motherfucking thing to do with me. Not a motherfucking thing. Now let me clear that up. Because it's another motherfucker. Because I don't give a fuck. People don't like me and ask me, do I motherfucking care? Because the people that love me, love me. I heard BYB say, oh, they just mad because of how people love me. Well, motherfuckers love me too. My squad love me, bitch. I ain't got a reason to be upset about a motherfucking thing. I got to listen. Listen, I got people that genuinely love me, but I got some motherfuckers that hate me and I don't give a fuck. But don't sneak diss me, bitch, because when you do the sneak dissing, I'm going to directly... Like I said, it's going to be directed straight to you because ain't no punk in my motherfucking blood. You don't want no shit. Don't start none. Don't fuck with me. I won't fuck with you. Hold on. Let me come. You better say it, Roz. I'm going to say it. Sick of these hoes uh, being shady. Just uh, let me see. Yeah, exactly. Let me come up. Uh, these people shady and phony. Exactly. But they got the right motherfucking one. Uh, Roz got me pissed, uh, pissing on myself laughing. Uh, she cracked me up when she goes in on the Morphinite. Bless Destiny. Fuck that nigga. Uh, like Patricia Dam and Chris Tucker's uh, voice. Uh, Demetrius said, you better say it. Uh, sick of these fake hoes being shady. Just do your boring content. Pennywise, let me pin you. Being shady because a bitch. A hateful ass bitch say my nails is dirty. Bitch, 
Listen, I wash my nails just like every motherfucking body else that wear acrylic nails. No shade. Ain't nothing nasty about me, bitch. I'm a big, clean motherfucking woman. And when I ain't clean, I got motherfucking running water. I got motherfucking soap. All type of soap. All type of smell goods. Bitch, if I am dirty, I ain't gonna stay that motherfucking way. I'm gonna do my due diligence just like the next motherfucking woman. Don't fucking play with me, bitch. Because of some shit Barnyard Betty said. Oh, messy ass bitch. Oh, I'm not trying to be messy. But my nails are clean, bitch, please. Bitch, we shut the fuck up, ho. And focus on getting more than 40 people in your motherfucking chat, you boring ass bitch. And I'm sorry, y'all, but these people be fucking with me. And I, no, I'm not sorry. This is me. When people fuck with me, I roast their ass. Uh, Shady Boots, I finally saw a Ross. Thank you, Lawanda. I'm glad that the people that know, because I pick up on all shade. All disrespect, ain't no such thing as sleek, slick dissing me. Because if you throw some uh, some shade my way, I'm a motherfucking catch it. And when I throw the shit back, don't be mad. Don't act oblivious to the fact that you don't know what the fuck is going on. Bitch, I done broke it down. I done explained it. <laughs> Let me see when your nails uh, start to grow under the tips. Your real nails are darker than it. Yes, they are, Dina Duet. And this set of nails been on my hands for about six, seven months. I've been wearing acrylic since I was 16 years old. That was the first time my grandmother allowed me to get acrylic on my nails. I, you know how this shit go. And any woman that wear acrylic nails, they know how this shit go too. Just because you got some under your nails don't mean that you're nasty. Anything you touch is going to be, you know, stuck on your motherfucking nails. This is why they invented soap and motherfucking water, right? Okay. Uh, these people are sick. Uh, Slobriminal Shay, yes, that's what it be. Hey, Brittany. Brittany is speaking. Uh, Miss Brittany, congratulations. Let me see. Um, I caught that Shay. I caught that sleek dig, Ross. Thank you, Jackie. A lot of people caught it. And I'm glad y'all caught it because y'all know I was going to pull up and roast that hoe. Did y'all not? I don't give a fuck who she is. What's she going through? Bitch, <laughs> you shade me. I'm, I'm coming for you. And I know the bitch is up in here. Them hoes still watch me. Them hoes is fans the fuck out. Them hoes is like, oh my God. She still got 600 people watching her. Damn, we can't even get for 40. Oh my God. She's still pulling in great numbers. She's still making over $5,000 oh my god why wasn't that my story because it's not bitch because it's not uh let me see not the crackhead the crackhead uh let's go sharon uh in the same zone uh feast courtney is talking to Brittany. um hey boo uh you are supposed to be in bed because um you showed your ass today okay uh miss jp um Girl, say happy anniversary, Miss Bridget. Happy anniversary, Miss Bridget. I'm coming up, so I see what everybody is saying. Uh, Cassie, baby, is congratulations, uh, Miss Bridget. Say congratulations in advance, and many more. Okay, girl, D, say hi to all the beautiful queens and kings in the chat. Uh, let me see, just got in from the West Palm. Beach, Florida. Okay, that sounds like a good time. Ross said, I'm not, uh -uh, I'm not, not at all. I'm not that one, Brittany. I'm not the one, the two, the three, the four. Like, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you like me or not. Just don't start no shit. Won't be no shit. You want to start some shit, it's going to be some shit. You're going to be able to have to take my mouth. You're going to have to take my drags. You're going to have to deal with my insults because, bitch, they motherfucking coming. <laughs> Without a fucking doubt. If you didn't think that they were going to come, um, you should have pinched yourself, bitch because they was motherfucking coming. If not today, to motherfucking tomorrow. Uh, Nadine, hey, boo. Nadine, thank you for my super thanks, baby. I always get an email when I finish my lives and it tell me that you sent the super thanks. And I didn't know how those work, but thank you for my super thanks, baby. Uh, the bitch broke as fuck. Don't be scared now, BYB. We all know where you're going to be. Um, it's up and it's stuck. Watch your back, ho. Um, all eyes on you, BYB. It's on and cracking. You nasty ass bitch, Nadine. She don't know if it's coming from the left, the right, the side, the bottom. She don't know. That bitch is shitting big. That bitch is, uh, she, she moving real slow. She didn't want nobody to be able to prepare 
to be able to catch that whole slipping. Oh, that bitch is she getting her kids, her sisters, she getting everybody she can think of to come fuck with her because that scary bitch know uh, somebody will take her the fuck up out of here. Uh, Didi forever say, well, I see some uh, karma is catching up with BYB for real, for real. Yes, it is. Uh, Mary Ann say her whole life is karma. Didi forever. That bitch been uh, dealt with, right? That bitch been dealt with. And that's what, you know what? Let me tell y'all. Crip Face Chrissy said that the reason why Feast is tired from dialysis is because of YouTube. And, and this is what she get because of what she's doing on YouTube or what her dialysis, these stupid mother, this shit ain't got nothing to do with our health issues. Just like your health issues, just like the man up the street. YouTube ain't, it, listen, this is our life journey. Nothing to do, you so motherfucker, you too old, Crip Face Chrissy, to be that motherfucking ignorant, to think that anybody is being punished on behalf of what they say on motherfucking YouTube. Shut the fuck up, bitch. That's not the motherfucking case. Now, if you a fucked up person, then you probably will, you know, run into different things or run against a brick wall. But because a bitch had to be cussed out, it's not the reason why people uh, develop sicknesses. That comes without a doubt. Aren't you dealing with your heart? Aren't you dealing with your own level of shit, bitch? Like, well, how can you be so ignorant? And won't you got ignorant motherfuckers agreeing with that stupid ass shit? Ain't nothing because of motherfucking YouTube, bitch. If you a good person, it's going to shine in your real motherfucking life. Just because I got to cut somebody out don't mean that I'm not going to help the homeless man standing in front of the motherfucking store. Like you silly dilapidated ass bitch. Man face ass bitch. Now Big CC over there calling Axe Granny a man. No, strong face Chrissy's the motherfucking man. Ask Granny is beautiful. And I want to ask y'all a question. Hold on. I'm finna get to it, right? Uh, Marianne say, Brittany, uh, did the popos come uh, to your door? Um, I sent them to get your phone. Ooh, get the phone from Brittany. Uh, Buffalo Bud, are you just as irrelevant as uh, Salva? What, what's her name? Salva? Cassie, baby, let me pin you. Because if that butch bitch think that I give a fuck about you liking me, I was making a point that the butch is motherfucking biased. If I say left, the bitch is going to say right. Like, the bitch don't like like me and will never agree and I don't give a fuck it doesn't make me wrong that bitch is not always right like the bitch sounds stupid because like I said and I'll say it again when you got a bitch stealing with the fact of putting the feed the homeless in the equation that's some scandalous ass low budget ass shit that's some low but I mean it better be for all the money this hoe has been collecting it better be an ultimate ultimate feast it better be so motherfucking beautiful. This bitch been collecting money for 30 days. It better not be no mediocre shit because that's going to tell the story that that bitch was robbing and spending the money just as fast as her punk, funky, broke ass can get it. Hold on. Uh, tomorrow is my 41st anniversary for 1883. Uh, don't eat anything, but congratulations if you feel like showing me some love. We got you, Miss Bridget. That's a long time. Congratulations, beautiful. Congratulations. Um, Jersey Girl 07 say it's crazy um how people like to take credit. Speak, Lady Ross. Exactly. Hey, Tiffany Hall. Uh, BYB is a uh, bona fide scammer. AR girl. Bona fide. A master manipulator. A liar. Been lying since she stepped foot on the platform. Remember, she used to hustle for her kids to get concussion helmets. Then the bastard wasn't even playing football. Like, girl, like this bitch been begging and asking since she stepped on the motherfucking scene. Uh, dad say, hey, Roz, uh, you had a chance to catch um, any of my lives yet? No, but I got to go look for you, baby. Uh, Lisa say, hey, Roz and Chad, uh, BYB is a pure scammer. Thief, bum, bitch, uh, by thief, uh, sit your ass down. We don't believe you, thieves. We don't believe shit that hoe got to say. We don't believe nothing that bitch hey say. Uh, let me come up, you guys. I'm about to drop down because I got to ask y'all a, a question. 
for the second part because y'all know I'm only going to be here for an hour. My bath is calling my name tomorrow. It's Thursday. My daughter is back in class. So y'all know I'm going to assist my daughter to do what she needs to go do. And I'm going to prepare myself tonight for that because I have to be out my door. And if you guys want, we can do a ride with me uh, while I ride like we do some mornings. Um, you know, so I'm going to be in the bed early tonight. Uh, Brittany live was fire. Yes, Jersey girl. Brittany is the bomb. I love Brittany. I love Glam Glam. I think that we all in the safe zone. I love all of us. Uh, let me go down, you guys. Uh, the KT, yep. Uh, she's sure. Let me see. Hold on, baby. Let me stop this so I can see what Queen Mary can say. Uh, the KT, yep. Uh, she sure did. Uh, that tooth hanging of... Uh, what hanging fat dear life? Ooh, hanging for his dear life. I don't understand how she can feed anybody with them fucked up teeth. I would not want it. Bitch, your teeth is orange, yellow, purple, and brown. I don't want shit you cook. Like, bitch, you can't feed me shit. Uh, she not new to it. She's true to it. Say it again. Be say daytime TV. Hey, boo. Uh, what's she feeding the people? Bologna sandwiches? Legionary. We definitely gonna see on Saturday. We are definitely gonna see a big CC damn man too. Um, ain't that the feminine about her exactly big butch bitch and then let me tell y'all something big cc say she claims she's 68 now angel mom says she's 64 do y'all see the motherfucking difference see because i ain't gotta be no hater but if big cc and angel mom is four years apart she looked like she aged in motherfucking dog years. Big CC looked bad for 68 because 64 on Angel Mom, she looks great, right? Although she do the little shit that I don't like. I said I need to put a side-by-side -side picture to let Big CC see what 64 looked like while she always want to talk about how good she looked. Bitch, you don't look good. This is a 64-year-old woman. You look like you could be her grandma. Like, you, bitch, you look awful. Like, awful. Uh, didn't that thief admit to using that money to pay for her cruise? Yes, she did, the KT. She admitted it, but them drunk motherfuckers, they want to act like they was blind to the fact. We posted it. Them hoes got, they know. They got the memo. They, they, they got the memo. Uh, let me see. Bless Destiny say, Ross said, uh, here, um, I go, bitch. Uh, the roast um, is motherfucking um, on. Um, I heard um, a hoe sent for me. Exactly. When I hear a bitch say something about me, y'all know I'm coming. Uh, BYB over there shaking like a leaf on a tree uh, with her scary ass that whole flat broke exactly nadine shaking don't know where it's coming from but it's definitely motherfucking coming alicia say girl go on hey miss ross hey boo a uh, daytime tv is speak and say buffalo but really lord help me a uh, vvll3 gemini candle campo hey boo uh let me see melissa say these creepy hoes i uh, get on my last nurse bitch i've been fighting a fight before i found this sector just like that thief a uh, bit a thief before she knew um her uh, creepy ass exactly say it again melissa b uh, melissa's uh britney say no ma'am uh marianne i'm on my i'm on it now uh let me see sharon leatherwood say uh that's a lie um i'll take my sisters um every week and she's not on youtube and yes she be tired i know that's right pissy need to uh, let me see. Pissy need to be tired of not sleeping with a married man. Exactly. I'm like, bitch, do better. Hey, Miss Betty Taylor. But this is what I was going to ask y'all because I may have missed something. Thank you, Life of Patricia Steven, for being a loyal Raw Squad supporter for 18 months. Boo, you are the mother swinging best. Hold on, y'all. Okay, this is the question that I want to ask because I'm like, I watch Ask Granny a lot. Sometimes I catch the end of her show, the middle of her show. Sometimes I catch her whole shows, right? I've never heard Ask Granny mention, thank you, Yo-Yo, I'm her. Thank you, Zay, for being a member for five months. I gotta, I'm gotta, i going to join your channel too, Zay. Uh, time is flying. Yes, it is, baby. Okay, so I've never heard Ask Granny uh, come and express herself about being an ex-gambler. I've never heard Ask Granny say that she has problem with one of her seven and children. Um, I've never heard Ask Granny say that she lost property uh, to having a gambling addiction. Um, I've never heard that. If you guys have heard these stories, can y'all let me know? Can y'all 
if you guys have ever heard Ask Granny um, confess to having some type of drinking and gambling problem, could you let me know in the chat? I just need a couple people. Just let me know I'm not crazy. If y'all ain't heard it like I ain't heard it, just say, Roz, I ain't never heard that. Or, Roz, I did hear that, right? Uh, thank you, Nadine, for being a member for 16 months. Uh, Tiffany Hall. A BYB couldn't fix uh, my last meal of life. Um, I'll be like, Jesus, take uh, take me out here. <laughs> Queen Mary Kent. Right, 7-1. I didn't hear Granny say that. Okay, thank you, Katrina. Because I got a point that I'm, um, I've never heard it. Okay, Charlotte. Uh, Jackie Thomas. Have anybody ever heard that? Uh, she says she used to, hold on. Uh, she says she used to be um, on her an ex gambler. Okay, so she did use to gamble. She admitted to gambling, but did she ever say that gambling cost her her properties and you know what really hindered her life or anything to that nature? Because uh, yes, she mentions it. An uh, ex gambler, yes. A uh, CC full of doo doo, yes, she is. Hey, Roz, hey, boo. Uh, Roz, uh, can you add me to the sister circle, please? And thank you. Send me a um, uh, send me a thing. Uh, CC say CC full of doo, yes, she is, Miss Beverly. But listen. So even with Ags Granny saying back in the day she used to gamble, I don't recall Ags Granny ever mentioning that she lost her homes. Now, I did hear Ags Granny say that she owned three homes on her own. Um, I've never heard such a thing from Ags Granny. Okay, Roz, I heard her say she used to be a gambler. Okay, so we all have established that Granny used to gamble. But I've never heard Ask Granny come here and omit to losing her property, losing her transportation, losing things because of gambling, right? And thank God if she ain't gambling no more, right? Ex gambler. Okay. Hey, Ro Ro. Uh, Roz, I heard her say she used to gamble. Okay. Uh, Melissa Bean say Ex Granny has never. Uh, that old gorilla at her own sauce, musty old drunk, she said um, in her 20s. Okay, Melissa. Thank you, baby. But we all know Big CC is a bold faced liar. She's jealous of any woman that can stand on her own motherfucking two feet. This is why she can't stand me. See, Big CC wished that she could say that she did it without crusty ankle walking ass Robert but she knows she couldn't even get the trailer for under 100k without motherfucking Robert cause Big CC is a worthless fat porky pig nasty ass bitch she couldn't have did it by her motherfucking self she could not have raised her children let alone seven she couldn't even take care of the two she got a daughter that hates her we know uh the Tarex bitch she stick around her mother because she want a couple dollars because she taking care of her uh younger man that beat the shit out of women that's been to prison you know so you know the daughter <laughs> butter teeth daughter, she sticks up under her mama because her mama help her with twos and fuse when she's trying to pacify that man she's a weak bitch right the other sister don't want no parts to be cc around her children, around her husband, nothing to do with her motherfucking life. So she stayed the fuck away, right? But Big CC wished that she was half the beautiful woman that Ax Granny was. Ax Granny dog walk Big CC on a regular. Big CC be so motherfucking upset at Ax Granny because the truth motherfucking hurt. The truth hurts. The truth hurt. Thank you. Thank you, Nisha TT. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Big CC wished that she was able to hold down her home, to hold, take care of her children, and be able to say that she had to do it even if she did it alone. Ask Granny credit is better. Ask Granny look better. Ask Granny is out every day living her life, which I am inspired. Ask Granny encouraged me to get up and move around because we know in order to keep living, you got to keep moving your body. You cannot lay stagnant and don't get the fuck up and work your muscles right so i'm encouraged or empowered by ags granny by her age and her beauty she motivate me to move right she motivate me in so many ways right ags granny don't have one property she was able to establish three properties now i heard that with my own ears when ags granny said that she has multiple bank accounts multiple homes <laughs> and have seven children that she take care of. Now, Big CC ain't never had a conversation with Ask Granny. Big CC don't know not one person that know Ask Granny, but she'll come here 
and she'll try to assassinate a woman's character because she's a big, fat, sweaty, jealous bitch and ask granny get that bitch a two-piece on a daily basis, right? The truth beat the fuck out of Big CC. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Big CC heard what Glam let us know. You think she gonna come here and address it? No, because the bitch know the truth hurt, right? We know ankle, hair growing up out of every hole in his motherfucking decrepit body had to get fingerprinted yesterday. We know he goes back to court because what Robert is doing is telling the court about all these doctor visits, right? He's letting his age and his illnesses be the reason why he postponed, you know, this court thing. And it's working in his favor, but he still got to be held accountable. Eventually, <laughs> eventually he's going to be held accountable, right? But anyway, uh, Big CC is a liar. I'm glad everybody over here understand the truth because she's really trying to assassinate Ag's Granny character, and I'm here to speak life into Ag's Granny. Ag's Granny has did things that we have to do as women, whether we have a man or we don't. We have to provide for our children. We have to house our children. We have to feed our children. We have to instill values into our children. And for Ag Granny to have seven boys and have great credit, multiple bank accounts, and multiple homes by herself, good job, Ag Granny. And this is what Big CC is upset about. I said, I got to come scream it. I got to come say it loud because Big CC, no, we don't believe you, bitch. We already know you a motherfucking liar. When you say Ag Granny look like a man and you look like you age in dog years, you already fuck us up because you're coming from a place of hate. You don't have a good judgment call in your body because you hate Ax Granny. You hate that you don't have the story that Ax Granny has. You hate that you don't have the story that I have. See, I raised my children and I have very successful children. This is why you try to water down who my oldest daughter is, but you can't touch her because real life says that she's everything that your motherfucking not and that your kids is not. This is what the reality is, right? So she comes here and she say, Ag's granny lost her, has common sense. Yes, she do. Uh, let me go up. Uh, let me go up. Please say, hey, Chad, uh, will you do me a favor so you won't have to type the entire name? Just call me by Courtney's, please. And thank you in advance. Okay, Courtney's. Uh, let me go up. Thank you. Jersey girl 07 say they mad. And ask Granny because whatever is it is, uh, God is in full control of her life now, and they see it. Keep pushing, Granny. Exactly. I'm easy cooking with Nay. I've never seen her either. Let me see. Yeah, I've never seen her. Uh, who is Nessa T T Roz? I want the um sister circle access. Never seen her. You know, you know it ain't gonna happen like that. Easy cooking with Nay. But thank you, baby. See, one thing about my squad. Whether you a good person or bad person, they gonna say. See, they gonna have my back, y'all. It's no disrespect to whoever the young lady is, but you gotta be around for a lot longer before you gain interest to the sister circle. They look at my sisters don't play, but yeah, I got you easy cooking with they. I'm on it, baby. I read to say hello, Sharon Leatherwood. I'm late speaking. Uh, back to you, okay? Uh, Ocean Bay say I click out, hit the like button, and back in. Thank you, Ocean. Uh, let me see, Melissa. Uh, being say. Ask Granny has um, never uh, that old gorilla and her own sauce, a musty old drunk. Uh, she said in her 20s. Okay, that's what I'm saying. This bitch, and, me, and you know how I know she do it to Ask Granny? Because the bitch do it to me. She lie on me. She don't know not one person that know me, that can have a conversation with her and enlighten her anything about me. She don't know not one person, 700 people in the motherfucking chat on a regular day, y'all. You know I'm popping, honey. <laughs> This why they mad, y'all. 700 in a motherfucking chat. Listen, the reason why I know she's lying on Ax Granny about Ax Granny confessing to losing homes and gambling be the reason is because she lie on every woman that she's jealous of. Big CC is a coward. She's been live twice today talking about Ax Granny because Ax Granny struck a motherfucking nerve. I love how Ax Granny come here. If she's doing her prayer hours, 
that's what she's doing. But if she's here to talk about commentary and what she see in the YouTube streets, she don't let nothing redirect her. See, Big CC pulls up upset, sweating like a pig, <laughs> flaring her nasty nose, upset because the motherfucking truth hurt. Ask Granny is not only beautiful, but she is very secure in her life. Something Big CC could never do if it wasn't for ankle walking motherfucking Robert. She's a weak bitch. She would never, she wouldn't even have that tractor trailer. And we know that's cheap, 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 cheap. This is why the bitch couldn't get a regular house because she took the cheap route and got a motherfucking trailer and try to make us like it. We don't like it. We like houses, bitch. But she tried to force it. Like, my house is so nice. Just because you say it, don't make it so. <laughs> Big CC, you could say it, don't make it true. Like, aren't you old enough to know better, bitch? And Big CC, because I know you listening. And I know you're going to come back and say, she sent her son to his demise. She told him to go back. Bitch, you don't know me. That's a lie. That's not true. But if it makes you feel okay to say that, bitch, say it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck when none of you retarded bitches say, I feel how I feel. And my life is going just great regardless to what you all raggly bitches got to say. I ain't missed a meal because you bitches had an opinion, right? But anyway. So I'm glad that it's 700 people over here that was able to hear. Ask Granny is the bomb.com. Um, we've all lived life. We've all made mistakes. And thank God that Granny was strong enough woman to be able to hold herself down, to take care of herself of the way that she has to still be up and out and about. Something big CC can't bring herself to do. And this is why her knees won't allow her to walk. Because she doesn't exercise her body at all. That big 400 pound body is not getting no exercise. <laughs> this bitch say I walk with a limp. No, I walk with a twist, bitch. I twist this ass. But I walk, bitch. See, you got to try it out, big CC. See, you talk about ex granny driving her car and doing Lyft or Uber or whatever she's doing. But it's great when you're older. At least she ain't sitting there drunk, inebriated. Talking out the side of her motherfucking neck, can't sleep, popping sleeping pills, lying to herself. And what we, and listen, Big CC, you mad at us for talking about your business? But you told your business. Your granddaughter told the world that she sucks dick. Your granddaughter told the world that. I didn't say that about your granddaughter. Your granddaughter came on here with her mama. And said that she sucks the dick that whoops her ass. This is what your granddaughter said. But you mad at us because you know we gonna repeat it. You know we don't like you. You know that's tea. But you can't even sit here and keep it real with your motherfucking self. You want to lash out at other people instead of telling your granddaughter that that's something that she should have kept private. See, while you was uh, teaching dimple ass to chew, you didn't teach the bitch to brush her teeth. You taught the bitch to chew with her mouth closed. But you didn't teach her daughter that if she did decide to suck prick to keep it to her motherfucking self and then you get mad at us because we want to talk about it. But if it was us and the shoe was on the other foot and it was our grandchildren or our children on here proclaiming to be the best penis sucker, you would talk about it, bitch. You would be the first. You and Barnyard Betty, you will run with that shit. You see how you run with lies? All because ask granny dog walk you <laughs> and tell and beat your ass with the truth. Oh, because I made her mad. I don't think you made ask granny mad. She ain't been back to say shit to you, but you've been here multiple times. So we all could tell who's the motherfucking bothered. Bitch, you look more bothered than ask granny. Ask granny one and done. She say what she got to say and get the fuck on. But you keep coming here because the lie got to be explained over and over and over. You got to keep on trying to make that lie motherfucking thing. See, ask granny come here with the truth. Dog walk your ass with the truth and get on about her motherfucking business. Sure do, bitch. That's the difference between a tr the truth and a motherfucking lie. See, a lie got to be pushed on somebody. But the truth, it flows like motherfucking water, bitch. See, Big CC, you should know all this, bitch. I shouldn't have to pull up and teach you this, hoe. But you so ignorant and you so stuck at that age where the trauma affected you. I don't know if it was your mama. Your grandpa, the albino man that somebody raised. I don't know who traumatized you, Robert. I don't know who did it, bitch, but you need to go face your trauma, ho. Hold on. 
Y'all know I have to roast this hoe. Look at her. <laughs> the same so like bullseye. Uh, Kitty Lover say, Ask Granny is a wise woman. I love listening to her. Uh, they say she uh, does this and that, uh, then use the Bible. Uh, yet um, she's out here. Uh, let me see, motherfucking old Holy Ghost. Yeah. Laugh my ass off. Lady, stop. Exactly. Help me, Holy Ghost. Why not? But out here talking with this lethal th tongue. The Holy Ghost don't hear you. What Brittany say? Bitch, your prayer didn't reach the motherfucking cylinder of that goddamn tractor trailer. That motherfucking God ain't her shit you have to say, ho. Look at everybody with the 100. Y'all like Ross saying, baby. Uh, she, she say, big CC granddaughter. Uh, your granddaughter likes to slob on knobs. Uh, don't be mad at us. Be mad at your granddaughter. Shasha, let me pin you. Her granddaughter said it. Lab, say she got her ass beat, was laughing, needed diapers. She didn't have no money. She can go get none. Her broke ass mama. You know that one that got the good job to make all the money. Apparently, she didn't have no money because the granddaughter had to go to Big CC and get the diapers that was sent for daycare. Like, girl, that told a whole motherfucking story. If my grandbaby bypassed everybody else and come to me for something, the first thing y'all gonna motherfucking know is that the mama didn't have it. <laughs> Nobody over there got it. They had to come way over here. So I'm, that's what me. For the granddaughter to have to go to Big CC for motherfucking diapers, it let me know dimples. She didn't have a dollar. The granddaughter didn't have a dollar. And Big CC had to help them broke hoes out. But this the bitch that got money. See, my daughter may call me and say, hey, you know, I'm going to do this and this and that. Well, my daughter, she, my daughter helps me more than I help her right now. Um, I used to help her a lot more. But if my daughter called me for something, you guys, it ain't going to be no $20 pack of motherfucking diapers. Let's just say 40 pack. That's not. You better have $40 in a bank some motherfucking where. You better not spend your last motherfucking few hundred. You better have something sitting just in case. But these bitches didn't have enough money to go to an ABC store to buy diapers. And Big CC gets on this motherfucking act like she did something correctly. Your kids are struggling. You guys are a bunch of motherfucking hillbillies. You all live in tractor trailers. Not one person got a decent house. I think the school teacher may have a decent house. But that's the one that stay away. She don't want no motherfucking parts of Big CC managed nasty uh, foul mouth ass, right? Uh, BYB is broke, busted, and disgusted. Pretty much, Katina Wicktaker. Um, Ask Granny is living life as she should. Ginger speaks. I agree with you. Listen, I agree. I am inspired. When I get older, y'all, I don't want to be stuck in a house like Big CC. I don't want to be sitting in a pissy ass chair all day watching social media. I want to go outside and see what's going on outside. I want to go to a mall. I want to pick up people and have, you know, little random conversations and get to know new people. I want to still live life. I still want to be a part of the world. So I'll take what Axe Granny got going on over Big CC any day. But Big CC so motherfucking jealous of Axe Granny. And y'all know she jealous of me. But she's so motherfucking jealous of Axe Granny. She comes here and tried to water her life down. And I'm just pulling up to say, I don't see what you see, Big CC. She better be mad than a motherfucker because the truth, one thing about BYB and Big CC, them bitches don't like the truth. We watch BYB hide the fact that she live in a barn, although we all know it. For how long? That bitch been in denial for a long motherfucking time. At this point, I would be like, fuck it. Yeah, this is my barn. But that bitch cannot bring herself to say that. That bitch is like, I don't care what. I don't want the truth. I, I look at it every day, but I'm in denial. That's BYB, right? Uh, Kitty Lover say, that lady comes out here attacking you and your family. Now it's her turn, and she's mad. Uh, let me, girl, a riddle. Let me see, ridiculous. Uh, you uh, yet... Uh, what you give, you get what you give. Exactly. A uh, big old albino said again, hey, Felita, uh, we need to do something uh, nice for Ag's granny. Uh, she's the elder on the right side, and we love her. Okay, Felita. Well, let's put our heads together. 
I don't know when Axe Granny's birthday is, but whenever you guys want to do something, you guys know I'm down. We can give her a cash app party. Uh, we can just pull up on Axe Granny and show abundance of love. Um, I think that uh, Axe Granny is amazing, and I'm with whatever you guys are with. So if you guys want to set up a cash app party for Axe Granny, let me know when and where, and I will be there. Uh, let me see. Uh, read that whole rise. I got you, Queen V. You know I'm going to roast these hoes. Y'all know Listen, it's not by accident that I get 700 people in the chat. See, my reads be reading. <laughs> See, I'll be holding this motherfucking platform down. People love to listen to me. First of all, they can understand. See, what I'm saying, it makes a great deal of sense. See, people like relatable motherfucking information. If I was on this motherfucker said that Big CC was riding a motherfucking uh, 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 what, a reindeer through the RV park, people would be like, bitch, where? See, we don't like shit that don't make sense, right? But saying that Big CC drunk ass was sitting up there mad at Axe Granny because she's not half the woman Axe Granny is, that makes sense, right? I'm giving you guys reason for the Reddit, the, the stupid shit, right? Uh, yeah, but it's not by accident that I get 700 people in my chat. I love you guys, and I see that you guys love me as well. Even the ops. Y'all know it's like 200 ops over here. Hey, train riders. Did I get one train rider that want to come up and say, Roz, I had a change of mind. You've been right all along. I can't wait to interview a train rider that's jumping off that motherfucking train. I gave the proposal yesterday. I'm just waiting on somebody to write me and tell me that they understand what I'm saying and they peep the foul behavior of this punk ass bitch <laughs> and they are ready to come and confess what they feel right if they not scared to be an attack because the bitch hold no weight it ain't like she can do a motherfucking thing if you jumped off the train if you know that bitch is a liar if you know that bitch is a scammer come chop it up with me I would love to talk to you uh let me see Cassie baby say yep her and uh, uh, granny are a different caliber of women uh we may Make all decisions when um, in younger age that we um, that we have to learn from. Uh, but she um, old and making dumb decisions, drinking pills is dangerous. Big CC, exactly, Cassie baby. And listen, y'all. And she couldn't have did it without Robert. She's the she's the weakest motherfucking link. This is why she don't like me. I'm proud of my life. I don't care if I rent forever. I house my motherfucking children. My children are in college further in their education. My son is working. I've been through a tragedy and I'm dealing with my tragedy the best way that I can, right? With the tools that God gave to me to deal with. These people can't affect me. She doesn't like that strength. She doesn't like that because she couldn't be half. Barnyard Betty either. If Barnyard Betty go through something, hold on y'all. Hey, Sharoni, I'm on the live, baby. Share. I'm uh -huh. As soon as I get off this live, I'll call you, okay? Okay, bye. That's my youngest auntie, Sharoni. But listen, y'all, she's very jealous of any woman. You understand what I'm saying, Dede? She's jealous of any woman that can hold it down because she wouldn't be able to do it. And like I said, right now today, if something happened to one of Barnyard Betty children, she would disappear off social media. She wouldn't be able to deal with social media because she know all the fucked up shit she said. She wouldn't be able to even deal with it the way that she wanted me to deal with it, right? She wouldn't, you guys. Them, them is some weak hoes, you guys. They some weak bitches. Uh, let me see Ross speaking. Big fat, yes, I am, and I'm glad I came on. I'm glad I came on, Miss Janice, because I wasn't coming live tonight. Thank you, uh, Crip Face Chrissy. You motivated me, you lying ass bitch. Uh, why is Big C addressing lies um, in her situation? Juicy Fruit, I don't know. Um, I'm going to a City Hall to share a BYB Live talking about the deceased and kids. Uh, so our mayor of Atlanta see who's feeding in the city okay Sonia Johnson that's a good idea and let me know if you need anything because I got some lives that I saved of the bitch uh, yeah that I can give to you a real lifetime movie surviving the train exactly uh, Courtney's uh, let me go up uh, all of them probably want to uh, they still scared yeah Johnisha but somebody gonna take me up on my offer because I have opened the door for you know, for the invitation, right? So we're gonna have a great, a great interview with ex train writers that have peep game on this slimy ball mouth, crooked face.
slew footed, bald head, barn living ass bitch. It's going to be some people that say, hold on. See, because I am who I am. My squad loves me for who I am because I show up authentic. That hoe's a liar. That hoe won't even address where the fuck she lives. Big CC's a motherfucking liar. I told you them bitches are twins. Twin motherfucking flames. Twin spirits. <laughs> they have twin motherfucking uh, spirits. Uh, when will they? Uh, let me see. Uh, when will the party be for Axe Granny? I don't know. Somebody want to be... Who is Axe Granny moderator, you guys? Hold on. Uh, let me see. Let's drop them. Purple Hearts to show the chat some appreciation, Roz. Uh, showing her ass tonight. Hey, y'all. Thank you, Nadine, for the $10 super sticker. I don't know. Is um, Who is Axe Granny's moderator? Uh, heck, one of them homeless uh, going to Axe where BYB played. Uh, she smells and look like. <laughs> Thank y'all for all the beautiful purple hearts. Love thyself. That's right. Uh, let me see y'all. Okay, we they doing. I see all the purple hearts. I love thyself. Let the mayor know. Uh, she um stole from the elderly. Yeah, let the whole know. Show the show the mayor her mug shot. Um, hey everyone in the chat. I'm doing something new. Uh, prepping food for the rest of the week. I've been done um it before, so I'm taking long, but I'm trying to be committed but i say hey to all okay cassie baby and good luck on your meal prep my daughter does meal prep and it's it's a lot but she does it uh bless say Roz, my um granddaughter zoe just tickled me she's so excited at your chat uh hey so having 700 hey zoe hey zoe zoe sorry for the bad language um, let me see. Queen Mary can say, um, ask Granny go to God in prayer uh, for answers, but uh, the blowfish go to the goose for her answers. Exactly. Because God can't hear. She's so evil. Uh, Roz, um, ask Granny is a woman who is full of wisdom, uh, but will knock uh, you uh, don't with the kind words and will make you think twice before you come with um, any bull. Exactly. Ask Granny is strong. Any woman that was able to raise seven boys. Oh, that's strength. That's strength. Uh, let me see. Ask Granny Mods or It's Me Riri and Let's Ride. Okay. Life of Patricia. Thank you, baby. Yes, I'm not, not, let me see, I'm not, not mine, so you know I have taken many of her tips, uh, you have done a great job with your baby's rods, like seriously, thank you Cassie baby, thank you, I, I love my babies and I'm so extremely proud, and I'm proud that I was able, right, like I'm thankful to God that he uh, allowed me to be able to raise my babies, right? Well, we go through bumps in a row, but we get through it, right? But anyway, so it's me, Riri. Um, we, we need to put together, hey, Sony Day. Uh, hey, Miss Janice again, Sunshine D. Baylock. I'll see you guys because I'm going to get out of here. I think Brittany have a live coming up, you guys. But listen, somebody inbox me or put it in the sister circle. Let's think of a mutual time and place where we can shower eggs, granny with a cash app party. It could be this week. It could be next week. It could be whenever you guys want it to be. Um, I'll make a post in the sister circle. And if it's me, Riri is over there. Maybe she can help us orchestrate something. Um, so I don't know when it's going to be, but we definitely will do it soon. Uh, seven seems to be a uh, respect for boys is definitely strong oh vv any woman that can raise seven men th that says a lot and god saw her fit to do so i have my hands full with two boys is not easy <laughs> boys i mean but boys are you know what boys get better as they get older um uh, because my babies were able to give me love and protection uh something that i lacked um, you know, because I'm a single mom, it didn't work out with me and the fathers. So eventually my sons became, you know, a great a deal for me, right? Like I really love having them, even with Myron, uh, keeping things straight and going to throw things away and checking on me and buying me flowers. It was amazing to have sons, you guys. It's still amazing. But like I said, when they're little and we're directing them and trying to keep them out of trouble, it can be difficult. Cause So could you guys imagine seven? Oh my gosh. So Ask Granny is definitely blessed. Let's see. Oh, I think I said thank you. Yes, 
Nadine. Thank you again, baby. But you guys, I had to pull up and make it make sense. I love you guys. Thank you guys for messing with me. I hope I got at least 200 likes. It's been over 600 people in the chat all night. We even got up to 716 people. I am so thankful. I am so proud of this channel. I love you guys. See, I'll never be the type of woman that have to look at another person amount of love that they receive because I receive my own love. Why would it affect me what type of love somebody else get when I'm focused on the love that I receive, right? Because I definitely receive it, right? All day, every day. But anyway, I hope that we all have an amazing, safe, peaceful, relaxing evening. Um, I hope that we all pray and thank God before we sleep. Um, I pray that we all wake up tomorrow, have a, a, a beautiful, a blessed day. I will see you guys in the morning if it's God's will for me to do the same. I love you guys. Have an amazing night on purpose. And I'm not going to bed. I'm just getting the hell up out of here. I will definitely see you guys somewhere in somebody's chat. I love you guys. Thank y'all for rocking with me. If you did not hit the like button coming in, hit that like button coming um, going out. If you are on the replay, Thank you, thank you, and thank you. I love you guys. Good night, Ross Squad. Bye-bye.